In this video, we will see one more example on converting NFA to DFA. So now this is the given NFA. So initially we need to draw the, drag, the transition table for the NFA. Transition table. Transition table. For the given NFA. So here the inputs are 0 and 1. Here sigma is the alphabet, Q is the states. So here you have Q0 and Q1 are the states. So now you see uh, on taking 0 on Q0, you are going to Q0 as well as you are going to Q1. Similarly, on taking 1 on Q0, you are going to Q1 only. And after seeing 0 on Q0, Q1, you are, you are not going anywhere. On seeing 1 on Q1, you are going to Q0 and also you are going to Q1. So this is the transition table for the given NFA. Now from this transition, NFA transition table, we have to draw the transition table for the DFA. Transition table for the DFA. Now transition table for the DFA. Now we will see. First of all, initially you have to start with the initial state of NFA. What is the initial state of NFA? Q0. The same state will be the initial state in DFA also. So here we will mark the states with square brackets 0 and 1. Here sigma, this is Q. So now you check what happens 0 on Q0 in NFA. 0 on Q0 it gives to Q0. And Q1. This is the new state. Again 1 and Q0. Where you are going? Q1 only. Q1. Now you check. You can check here. Here you got two states. Two new states. In these two new states. This is the, this is the state with one state. This is the state with two states. Now we will discuss Q1. After that we will discuss Q0, Q1. We will discuss single state first. So now what happens? 0 and Q1. 0 and Q1, you are not, you are going to nothing, nothing or you can write it as a 5. So now what happens if you take 1 and Q1, 1 and Q1, you are going to Q0, Q1. Now in this, one new generator set is discussed. Now the second one is Q0, Q1. Now this is the combined set. So now we have to check. What happens if you, if you apply 0 and Q1, Q0, Q0, Q1. So delta of Q0, Q1, comma 0 equal to delta of Q0, comma 0 union delta of Q1, comma 0. Now 0 and Q0, you are going to Q0, Q1. 0 and Q1. 0 and Q1, you don't have any state. This is 5 state. Empty state. So, Q0, Q1. Q0, Q1. Now, this is the combined new state. Q0, Q1. So, now here you have to write Q0, Q1. Again, what happens if you apply 1 and Q0, Q1? Again, delta of Q0, 1, 1, 1, 1 equal to Delta of Q1, 1 union, delta of Q0, 1 union, delta of Q1, 1. So Q0 and 1, where you are going? You are going to Q1. What happens if you apply G1 and Q1? 1 and Q1, where you are going? Q0, Q1. Q0, Q1. Now if you combine, you got Q0, Q1 is the combined state. Now here you have to write Q0, Q1. 
Now, in this, the new the two new states were discussed here. Now, when you come here, Q not Q not Q not Q one. This is also this is all discussed. Now, when you come this here, Q not Q one. This is also discussed. Q not Q one. This is all discussed. Now, the new states are Q not Q one. Q not Q one are the new states in the equivalent DFA. Now, we will write the DFA from the transition table. Now, you will see. So, now the new states of DFA are Q0. Next one is Q1. Next one is Q0, Q1. Now, here Q0 will be our initial state. Now here Q1 is the final state. Now here the states linked with Q1 are initial uh, final final states. Now we'll see. So what happens if you apply 0 on Q0? You are going to Q0, Q1. You are going to Q0, Q1. What happens if you apply 1 on Q0? You are going to Q, Q1. You are going to Q1. Now if you apply 0 on Q1, where are you going? You are going nothing. And applying C 1 and Q1, where are you going? You are going to Q0, Q1. Now, after applying 0 on Q0, you will be on same state. Again, if you apply 1 on Q0, Q1, you are going to the same state. So, this is the way of converting any NFA into its equivalent DFA. So, hope you are all understanding. Still, I will give you two or more examples. You just follow it. It will give you a better hands-on experience on converting NFA to DFA. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.